for of those of you who don't know what Aspect does, uh, simply put, Aspect provides software solutions to the organizations. They'll help those organizations to effectively manage their interaction with the end customers, whether those interactions are happening on traditional mediums like voice or the contact centers or automated across digital channels. As I was planning for this session, I was contemplating on what is the topic I really speak on. I looked at what are the topics that are going to be covered in the ETI CUI conclave. Uh, business transformation was one of them. Does Aspect have a role to play in business transformation? Absolutely, yes. Customer interaction today is the key uh, ingredient for growth of any organization. And as the business evolve and as the technology evolve, the organization need to transform the way they engage with their customers. There's enough spoken about machine learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, so is aspect in the space of artificial intelligence? Uh, the answer depends on how you define artificial intelligence. I think there were a lot of uh, inputs coming in, no clear definition of artificial intelligence in the last sessions that we saw. As far as aspect is concerned, we leverage the customer analytics. We leverage uh, solutions like natural language processing to have a conversational dialogue with the end customer and automate that. Uh, that is what the definition of AI from an aspect perspective is, and we operate in that space. And then you talk about cloud. Uh, all of the aspect solutions are hosted on the cloud. Cloud first is a strategy for aspect. So I was not really sure what are the topic I really pick up to speak out here. I thought and I thought very hard. And finally, it zeroed down that I'm going to be speaking about wine. Now, a show of hands, uh, how many people in the room here enjoy drinking wine? Uh, that's about 25%. Uh, probably asked the wrong question. Uh, I should have asked, uh, how many people enjoy drinking whiskey? Probably I've got more hands. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, so am I really going to be talking about wines? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, if you really saw my first slide, which I'll put up again, it said real-time customer engagement in the digital world. Uh, so I'm sorry to disappoint that I'm not talking about wine, especially for some uh, and few of you who actually raised the hand and thought probably we're going to have a wine tasting session. Uh, though it's a Saturday evening, uh, we are in a film city, not necessarily a bad idea, uh, but I've got a job to do. I've got a salary to make. Uh, to support my taste in wine. So uh, uh, if I'm going to be talking about real-time customer engagement in digital world, why did I bring the topic of wine? What is the correlation and the context here? Uh, it has to do with a project that we implemented for one of our customer called Lidl. Uh, Lidl is a leading retail chain in the UK. Uh, they were looking at a solution where they could engage with their customers uh, in a real time. And the purpose of this engagement was they were wanting to increase the sale of wines in their retail store in the moment of truth in a real time scenario. So what are the moment of truth as far as Lidl is concerned? Those are the scenarios when the customer is either at the store selecting a bottle of wine or, or is online looking at what he needs to be buying. And what is the option he has today? I mean, either you could go into a website and uh, multiple information available and search for the data that you're looking for, or uh, you could speak to the sales agent at the store. But the challenge is that's not going to be in real time, and that is not going to be very specific information. So we essentially created a chatbot which could work on a Facebook Messenger uh, and be able to provide the answers on a real time, whether those questions are related to which is a wine to be selected, which will be paired well with which particular food. And uh, that, that's the way it sort of worked. And let me play a small video where uh, we actually tested the chatbot uh, with the inputs given by a sommelier. Sommelier uh, is essentially a person who is trained on wine and works in a restaurant. The whole idea was when you are speaking to a sommelier, which is a trained person in wine, he has so much of in-depth knowledge where he could provide you all those details, which is something that you can't expect out of a web or talking to a sales agent. But you can get the same kind of an experience uh, when you're interacting with a chatbot. That, that was the whole idea. And be able to give that information more on a real time.